tutorial I'm going to show you how to adjust the color of an image in Camera Raw by first opening it in Adobe Bridge. Then we're going to open that image in Photoshop and straighten and crop it as well as replace the colors in that image. So we need to navigate to Bridge. Once Bridge opens we're going to view our image. This is the image we're going to work with. This is what we want it to look like when we're finished. So let's double click this image that we're going to be working with. And notice it appears in what's called Camera Raw. First thing we want to do is choose the picker for white balance. This looks just like an eyedropper or a medicine dropper. We're going to choose that. And we want to choose some white area in the graffiti. And see how my image is changing the contrast. Now let's go in here in our shoe. It changes again. So you can do that as many times as you want to to get the feel. You can also come over here and adjust the settings by the sliders. The next way you can do it is by clicking in here in the boxes and typing in the exact numbers that you want just to play around with it. So I'm going to go through and fill some of these in. And there we have the image. Now, if you uncheck this preview button, it's going to show you what the original image looked like before we even did anything to it. Let's check it again. After we've adjusted the white balance in our image, we want to go ahead and open that image up in Photoshop and straighten crop and replace the color in it. So we're going to click right here on open image and it pops up in Photoshop for you. Now we're going to straighten the image. The ruler tool is right up under here, under the, hidden up under the eyedropper tools. So we're going to choose the ruler tool. We're going to go up to the top left hand corner of the picture. Click and hold our mouse down, drag it across over to the right hand side, top right hand side of the image, release that, and now we want to click the straighten button. Our image is straightened. The next thing we want to do is crop out any of this extra white space over here. So to do that, over here in the tools panel, you have your crop button. Crop tool, okay, so get it as closely as you can. Notice I have a little bit of white space in the top and on the left, that's okay because I can compensate by using my arrow keys. I'm going to do that now. Then that over here to the left. Now I'm going to take it down some. When I'm satisfied with the way it looks, come back over here to the crop tool. Click it one time. Your box pops up that says crop the image. Yes, we do. So we want to click crop, and there's our cropped image. Now we're going to replace the color in the little girl's hat of this image. So we want to be able to zoom in so we can see the hat really well. To do that, we can click on the tool, the zoom tool over here in the tools panel, or we can use our keyboard shortcut of control plus. Let's zoom in as closely as possible. That's probably good enough. Now, before we select our tool over here, we're going to choose the foreground color. You've got your foreground color and your background color. The foreground color is what we want to set to change the color of the hat. So let's choose a shade of green. Pick any color green. Next, we want to select our color replacement tool in the tools panel over here. It is usually hidden behind the brush or pencil tool. We're going to choose that color replacement tool. In this options toolbar, you have all the available options to you for that tool. So we're going to choose to go down to about 13 or 14. Let's say 14. Over here, I'm going to keep it at hue, but you also have saturation, color, and luminosity as choices. So once you're finished doing that, 
go ahead and begin coloring your hat. You can zoom out, zoom the zoom tool, there's your hat, then you can save the image.